look like everybody else, else but, but there's something special about us. Grace Bowles, I'm in fifth grade, and I have had diabetes for a month. I'm Valerie Eller, and I'm in sixth grade, and I've had diabetes for six months. I'm Hannah Welch, uh, I'm in seventh grade, and I've had diabetes for about two years. I'm Jared Voles, I'm in eighth grade, and I've had diabetes for about eight years. This is what happens when you're diabetic. Your body is an incredible machine. The simple act of eating gives you the energy to breathe, run, jump, play ball, everything you do. You chop food with your teeth. Your stomach turns it into a soupy goop. The good stuff, sugar, also called glucose, is squeezed out and flows through your blood to feed all the cells of your body. But the cells can't eat the sugar without a special key called insulin. Faster than you can blink an eye, Insulin unlocks the walls of the hungry cells and lets the sugar in. Once they are fed, the cells can do their jobs. Meet your pancreas. All need insulin to live. Your pancreas makes insulin. People without diabetes don't have to think about this at all. The pancreas knows exactly what to do. When diabetes happens, most of the pancreas still works, just not the part that makes insulin. So people with diabetes have to get insulin through another way, like shots or a pump. People with diabetes have to guess how much insulin their body needs all day and night. It's not always easy. Figuring out how much insulin takes a lot of math and an understanding of science also. There is two ways to get insulin, a pump or shots. We all three use the pump. The pump is attached to us by a small tube that goes into our stomach. When you eat, you program insulin into your pump and it will go through this tube into here to get you the insulin that you need. I use a shot. The insulin is stored in the pen with a needle on top. I give myself a shot in my tummy when I need insulin. We do math every day. Since our bodies can't do the insulin for us, we need to figure it out ourselves. First, we need to check our blood to see how much sugar is in our body. My blood sugar is 200. <laughs> then we have to figure out how many carbohydrates, we call them carbs, are in the food we eat. After we eat, we take insulin from the pump or a shot to cover the food. So I need to take insulin to cover the food. Remember, I need to take in, into account how much my blood sugar was to start with and how much my body needs to cover each carb. Here's a typical lunch. The popcorn chicken, 40 carbs. Fries, 25 carbs. A chocolate milk, 28 carbs. Barbecue sauce, 6 carbs. That totals up to 99 carbs. If I were to eat 99 carbs, my pump would tell me to take 11 units of insulin. If I were to eat 99 carbs, my pump would tell me to take 6.6 .6 units of insulin. If I were to eat 99, 99 carbs, my pump would give me 3.9 units of insulin. I usually try to eat 50 carbs. If I eat more than 50, I would have to get a shot. Hi, I'm Jace. I I had diabetes for a month. I have checked my blood 124 times. Hi, I'm Valerie. I've had diabetes for six months. I have checked my blood sugar 1,488 times. 
Hi, I'm Hannah. I have had diabetes for about two years. I have checked my blood sugar 3,650 times. Hi, I'm Jared. I have had diabetes for about eight years. I have checked my blood sugar 11,680 times. Hey, do you want to play some catch? No, I don't feel good. Oh, come on, I'll be fine. Okay. Here you go. Dude, what's the matter? I don't feel good. Is your blood sugar high? I don't know. You should go get some rest. Go get a glass of water and just sit down and rest for a little bit. Yeah. When your blood sugar is high, here are the signs. A headache. Feeling really dizzy. And feeling really, really tired. When your blood sugar is low, here are the signs. Dizziness, feeling shaky, sick to your stomach, start to sweat, and faint. What, what we hate most about diabetes. I'm Chase Bulls, and the thing I don't like about diabetes is getting shots. One of the things I don't like about diabetes is you can't have all the candy that I used to have. There are a lot of things I hate about diabetes, but one is the feeling of going low. One of the things I hate about diabetes is sports. Whenever I'm too low or too high, I have to sit out of, out of all the fun. Bad things that can be caused by diabetes. Blindness, amputation, heart disease, kidney failure, and three jobs you cannot be when you're diabetic. A pilot, a semi-driver, or a art soldier. And if you don't take care of your diabetes, it can lead to death. death. We need your help to find a cure. Be a friend. Buy a wristband or a foot. Come to the walk. Walk is Saturday, February 24th at Westdale Mall, 10 o'clock. Hope to see you there.